Christopher Neal, Juris Doctorate, Reading, Sha'ar Hagugilum, The Gates of Reincarnation, Jewish Shamanism of Soul Rectification, including discussion of the Kabbalah Tree of Life, if you would like to keep it for a reference. Chapter 1, Five Levels of Soul, Part 4, Nefesh, Uniqueness. It is necessary that a distinction between the Nefesh of Asiya and the rest of the divisions of Yetzira, Beria, and Atzilus be explained. With this, a big question will be clarified. How is it possible for someone whose root is the Malkus of Asiya to ascend to the Kesser of Asiya as mentioned? If so, since every Jew must reincarnate until he has completed the entire Nefesh, Ruach, Neshima, Chaya, and Yahida, everyone will have to ascend to the Kesser of Asiya, to the Kesser of Yetzira, and to the Kesser of Beria. The rest of the levels will cease to exist. Encyclopedia, um, pardon, uh, note 37 No one will be rooted in them any more once everyone has ascended to higher levels. However, this however this does not make sense because simply there are Jews from the level of Malkus and some from the Yesod, etc., as mentioned at the beginning of Sefer Hatikunim Footnote thirty-eight. There are leaders of thousands of Jews from the side of Geser, wise men from the side of Chokma, and men of understanding from Bene. And a note on note 38, uh, the Zohar is a little younger than the original compilation of Shar Hagugilam and its tradition. Uh, very likely, Pharisaical. Footnote 39. Uh, to read the sentence for, there are leaders of thousands of Jews from the side of Keser or Kether, wise men from the side of Chokmah, and men of understanding from Bene. Footnote 39. This shows that souls that originate from a particular level remain attached to that level, even after ascending to higher levels. The explanation of this matter is based upon what will be explained, that there is a difference between Asiya and the other three worlds, the three of them together. It, it is in this manner, know that it is only with respect to Asiya, in some way, someone whose root is in the Malkus of Asiya, obviously, his nefesh is specifically in the Malkus of Asiya. Footnote 40, and it will remain that way even when he ascends to higher levels. Nevertheless, by rectifying his actions, he can purify his nefesh level after level until it ascends to the Kesser of Asiya itself, and it will become incorporated in and actually ascend to there, even after ascending to the Kesser of Asiya. However, he still will only have the level of the Malkus of the Kesser 
of Asia, since its root is only on the level of Malchus. Footnote 41. Even though he has ascended to the Malchus, or of Keser of Asia, which is all he needs to do to be considered to have rectified the Keser of Asia, he only actually has the, the level that is his root in Asia, which in this case is the level of Malkus. Therefore, he only gets Malkus of Keser of Asia. He must, however, become refined until he ascends to the level of the Keser of Asia, even though it will still only be called the level of the Malkus of the Keser of Asia. It is similar to the rest of the levels of Asia, that it will only be called the Malkus of that level. Footnote 42, for example, when he reaches the Yesud of Asia, he will only have the level of the Malkus of the Yesud of Asia, etc., which is all he needs to rectify that level of Asia. Uh, in a note on what's called the There's a particular type of uh, the prosperity gospel. Uh, the prosperity gospel, uh, gospel means good news. Prosperity means, and this is the difference between it, um, positive examples shown outward of moving forward in your blessing. And we can say in your ascendance. So it would be important to know what happens in these different levels. And then you will see within that person that it exists. Uh, we've been measuring this actually by measurement of Malkus, um, though somewhat different, which is uh, how much money a person has and how much they can raise to return through uh, nonprofit 501c3 programs in the United States uh, to their peoples who can raise the most money, live the best life after he or she or they have raised their money, and deliver a charity at the same time uh, to people who have uh, joined their movement. Uh, so this is something like what we're describing, uh, though Malkuth is, is where most people are, Malkuth, uh, which is the level of groundedness of earth, of being literally in the, if, with the tree, you are a, uh, a graph from the tree, uh, overwhelmingly dependent on the, the ground. You haven't uh, created a, a bark yet to hold in uh, your nourishment upon your trunk. Uh, so that's kind of where Malkus is, uh, but you're in the ground and you're growing. Okay, uh, moving forward, uh, chapter 1, section 5, ascending through Yeba, uh, capital Y, close quote, close quotation marks, B, A, both, uh, so capital Y, close quotation marks, capital B, capital A, Yeba, And I have a note here. A Jew, reincar a Jew reincarnates every eight years when the full body regenerates. So I think I put this note here for uh, the rational perspective. Uh, what if you're just not at the point where reincarnation is something you want to think about? Um, it's something that within the mystical tradition, people take a long time to get used to. Well, then let's take it in a sense that it's possible within one lifetime. The body reincarnates, so to carnate means to uh, become another, uh, become one with the body. Uh, re means to do it after having done it the first time. Uh, so you can say I'm an incarnation, but I'm not a reincarnation, and I don't think I want uh, to participate in it. Uh, well, think about something more practical. The physical body, uh, every eight years, uh, switches out every cell in the body, every cell in your body is different than uh, from those that were here eight years ago. Uh, and that starts at birth. And so every eight, I'm uh, just finishing my 40th year. So I've had, uh, what, five occasions of regeneration. And I would argue that every cell in my body right at this moment is brand new from what it is before. And so they all may have different, uh, they may have evolved differently. 
Uh, and so you can say you reincarnate every eight years, and it is normal uh, that someone reincarnates at least uh, seven times. You know, that would be uh, to 56 years or more uh, every eight years to get a new body uh, in which to start this uh, role again. Uh, sometimes cells, though, that are new are um, split from cells that already were, and so they may not always be in the best condition. Uh, so if your cells are in good condition, at least every eight years, hopefully uh, you start off with something new and useful. Uh, back to the text. It is not like this, however, in Yetzirah, Bariya, and Atzilus. If the root of someone's Ruach is in the Malkus of Yetzirah, and he rectifies and completes this level, when he refines and rectifies the Yesod of Yetzirah, he will also receive a Ruach from the Yesod of Yetzira and leave behind the Malkus of Yetzira because that is its place. Footnote 43. Unlike in Asiya, in which he ascends with the root of his soul from level to level. Likewise, when he rectifies the hold of Yetzira, he will also leave behind the second Ruach from the Yesud on the level of Yesud of Yetzira and receive a Ruach from the Hod of Yetzira. It will be the same all the way up until Keser of Yetzira. Since he will have rectified his Nefesh on all levels of Asiya, he will be able to receive his Ruach from all the sections of the entire Yetzira, and it will be likewise on the level of Neshema, which he has from Bariya. Chapter 1, Part 6, Nefesh at Risk Remember the Nefesh is the what I call the uh, ego. Uh, it is the first spirit that you receive. Uh, then there is the Ruach, which we often call the soul. And then there is the Neshima, which is the spirit. And there are four levels beyond that, the last level being a completion of all of them. But they have not, uh, they're, they're not usually mentioned in casual speech. In cycle, uh, once again, uh, chapter one, part six, Nefesh at Risk. The reason for what has been said requires explanation. Since Asiya is the lowest of all the worlds, it is almost the Klipos, which, it encomp which encompass it. So footnote 44, literally pills, P-E-E-L-S, whether uh, pills from a, an orange or pills of lightning. Uh, they're called pills as well uh, because they thin the air and molecules right around them, so it's as if you've uh, lightened that part of the sky and peeled away part of it back. So uh, the word again is klipos, capital K, L I P O S, literally peels, P E E L S, because they form a spiritual barrier between a person and God. They were created as the source of spiritual impurity in creation in order to make evil possible so that man can have free will and be rewarded for his moral victories and held accountable for his immoral acts. The lower down a world is, the further away it is from the source of light, and therefore the more susceptible it is to the spiritual darkness of the Klipos. Hence, the world of Asiya and the corresponding level of soul, Nefesh, is the most vulnerable to spiritual impurity of all the worlds. Once again, the reason for what has been said requires explanation. Since Asiya is the lowest of all the worlds, it is among the Klipos, which encompass it. Therefore, even though a person has already rectified his nefesh, 
according to the level of the place of his roots in Asiya, if it was left there, footnote 45, on the level from which it has come, there is the fear that perhaps the Klipos will latch onto it there. Footnote 46, there is only one source of sustenance in creation, the light of God, even for the Klipos, Zohar, Yisro, 69a, to maintain their existence, God arranged for the Klipos daily to receive a specified amount of divine light through various means, Zohar, Tetzava, 184b. However, it is their nature and role to seek out additional sources of such light, such as the sins of men, in order to become stronger and control the world. Therefore, he must constantly refine his actions so that it will be elevated higher and higher as much as possible until the place of his root in the Kesser of Asiya. Footnote 47, that is, the Malkos of the Kesser of Asiya. This creates a safer distance between the root of his soul and the Klippos. However, on the level of Yetzirah, and even more so the rest of the worlds above it, footnote 48, since they are increasingly more distant from the Klippos, there is no fear of the Klippos from the world of Asiya latching on. Hence, once a person has rectified his rock on the level of its on the level of its root in Yetzirah, if he rectifies more, the first Ruach will remain in the place of its root, and he will acquire a second, more elevated Ruach. It is not necessary to elevate the first Ruach higher, since there is no such concern. This is the Sod note. 49, Sod, that is, the Kabbalistic basis of the verse. This is the Sod of the verse, God spares no one. Footnote 50, the word Nefesh is used. Let the king, therefore, ponder thoughts so that no one be banished from him. Second Samuel or Shemu fourteen four for all such considerations are only for the level of the Nefesh Footnote fifty one on the simple level the banished one in the verse refers to Davud Hamelech's son of Shalom. who fled after having his stepbrother Amnon murdered in revenge for violating the former's sister, Tamar. The verse is addressed to David Hamelech, asking him to allow Absalom to return home. On the level of Kabbalah, it refers to the level of Nefesh, as explained. For all such considerations are only for the level of the Nefesh, since it is in Asiya, and there is a fear that perhaps he will be banished from him because of the Klipos which are there. Footnote 52, the Klipos will latch on to the discarded level of Nefesh, and it will become lost forever. However, the rectification that he does for the nefesh because of the mentioned fear is, God spares no nefesh. The explanation is, God may he be blessed, 
does not lift up or elevate a person in order to give him a level of nefesh higher than his root, because if this was the case, he would have to leave his first nefesh below in its place and the banished, footnote 53, the replaced nefesh, would be banished among the klipos there. Therefore, he does not give him another nefesh that is more elevated and higher, only the first nefesh, which itself ascends upward according to his deeds to the keser of Asiya, and not another nefesh other than it. This is not the case in Yetzira and the rest of the worlds. Since his ruach, or his neshema, etc., remains below in the place of its roots, he is endowed with another ruach that is more elevated according to the rectification of his deeds, as mentioned. This is the sold of a well-known introduction because every person can be like Moshe Rebenu. If he is willing to refine his actions, he can take another rock that is higher until the heights of Yetzira and a Neshema from the heights of Beria, etc. Footnote 54. If a person is willing to refine his actions, eventually his soul level will match that of Moshe Rabenu. Chapter 1, Part 7, Ibur, I-B-U-R. With this, footnote 55, when a person ascends in Yetzira or Bariya, they replace his Ruach or Neshama with a new one, as the case may be, leaving the previous one free from, leaving the previous one free for an alternative use. With this, another well-known concept in the world of our rabbis, Zil, uh, Z, quote, Z, quotation mark, L, note 56, uh, which stands for, Zich Renum, Liv Rocha, may they be remembered for blessing, can be understood. With this, another well-known concept in the world of our rabbis, Zil, can be understood that the Rukus, or Nishamus, of righteous people come and impregnate, footnote 57, their Ruach, or Neshema, can enter a living person and remain inside the person like a fetus in a woman, enhancing the person's spiritual capacity and impregnate a person besod, what is called ibur, footnote 58, literally impregnation, to assist him in the service of God. May his name be blessed, as it says in Midrash ha ni elam, footnote 59, a more mystical part of the Zohar interspersed throughout, from handwriting regarding one who comes to purify himself, they help him. Footnote 60. It says in the Talmud, Shabbos 104a, if a person makes an effort to spiritually improve himself, then heaven will assist him to ensure his success. Rebbe Noson said, the souls of the righteous come to help him, and as it says in the Zohar, in the introduction to Parashas, Barishish regarding Rebbe Hamnuna Sabaa Sabaa seven literally elder Rebbe Hamnuna was a master uh, this is footnote sixty one literally elder Rebbe Hamnuna was a master in Kabbalah and he returned after he died in the form, in this form, to teach Rebbe Eliazar, Rebbe Abba, secrets of Kabbalah. Uh, if anyone is a Druzi, then they know about the seven uh, 
incarnations, and his last name, uh, Sabah, probably meant that he was on his seventh, which made him an elder and able to do this work. And as it says in the Zohar, in the introduction to Parashas, Berishish, regarding Rebbe Hamluna Saba, that he came to Rebbe Eleazar and Rebbe Abba, and Rebbe Eleazar and Rebbe Abba in the form of a donkey loader, etc. Uh, I believe this, wor this word means homosexual. Uh, or one who is uh, without any marriage, uh, because he's in his last uh, incarnation uh, and he doesn't want to create children, uh, he uh, at least is completely celibate and um, abstinent, uh, and so therefore he won't leave more children upon the earth who he has to wait for uh, to to improve themselves before he can be improved. Uh, even if they did great deeds for him, he's at such a point in his spiritual evolution that he doesn't need or doesn't want to, the time waste uh, would be more uh, than whatever benefits they would give him. So he's a homosexual, meaning at least he's only intimate with himself and, and his Lord. And if it goes beyond that, then that's uh, a matter for a gossip, which we're not getting into. Without doubt, the Rukus and Nishemuls of righteous people are hidden away, bound up in the bundle of life, and the term was donkey loader uh, that I got that from. Without doubt, the Rukus and Nishemuls of righteous people are hidden away, bound up in the bundle of life. Uh, note 62. Targum Yonason translates this as eternal life. And by note, uh, Netzek, seven degrees equals four uh, square. Uh, first Shemuel 2529. Each one in the place of its root as fitting with their God, and they do not descend from their place at all. Without doubt, the Rukuls, of, the Rukuls and Nishamos of righteous people are hidden away, bound up in the bundle of life. First Samuel, or Shmuel, 25, 29, each one in the place of its roots as fitting, with their God, and they do not descend from their place at all. However, the original Rukuls, which remained behind on each level of Yetzira, and which did not ascend upward as mentioned, descend and impregnate a person to assist him as mentioned. The main Ruach, which is the most elevated of all of them, that he acquired as a result of his actions, is the one that is bound up with the bundle of life and does not move from there. My note, it requires descending to watch. Pardon. Uh, the reason shedding food is not permissible is that it requires descending to watch, which is not possible except in lower spirit. Nafs are id. Uh, nefesh, and there is a cost to consciously descend to view the old self, serving the folk who have that old self. When I was a child, I engaged in childish things. Now that I am ascended, I leave childish acts below for your memory of me to negotiate. It is similar with respect to Neshema. Chaya en Yachida, footnote 63, the discarded levels can descend and enter people besod ibur to help them with their service of God, while the main levels, the highest ones achieved as a result of their actions, remain bound up in the bundle of life. Chapter 1, Part 8 
There is second reason regarding what was written earlier about the difference between Asiya and the rest of the worlds. Footnote 64. This is another reason why the same root can ascend from the bottom of Asiya to the top of Asiya. As it is known, each of the worlds contain ten sephiros, but all of Asiya is only one sephira, the sephira of Malkus. Uh, footnote 65. Unlike the worlds above it, Asiya starts off with its Unlike the worlds above it, Asiya starts off with only its Malkus, its Chaim, Sha'al 30, chapter 7, even after it receives the rest of its Sephiros, they are considered more to be additional lights rather than essential to Asiya itself. Therefore, the Nefesh from there is able to ascend itself as high as Kesar of Asiya, since it is all one Sephira. However, Yetzira is the level of six Sephiros, Chesed, Gavura, Tiferes, Netzach, Hod, and Yesod. As it is known, and each level is distinct from the other, therefore if someone's root is from the Malkus of Yetzira, even though it is rectified, it cannot ascend and become part of of and remain above on the level of Yesod of Yetzira. Therefore, it must remain below, and he must acquire a new Ruach from Yesod of Yetzira, as uh, if he wants to ascend to there as a result of his good deeds. This will be true for the rest of the six ends, as mentioned. Footnote 66, this is another name for the six sephiros of Yetzirah because of their formation. Chapter 1, Part 9, Source of Soul Levels. No, as it has been explained, each world has five parts of them. Arak Anpen, Abba and Emma, Zahir Anpen and Nukva. Arak Anpen, one Arak Anpen, two Abba, three Emma, four Zahir Anpen, and five Nukva. They correspond to the five levels of a person's soul, which are from the bottom to the top, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshema, Chaya, and Yecheda. The nefesh is from the nukva, footnote 67, Aramaic for female, which the malkus is considered to be, of zihir anpan, note 68. This is a special relationship between the worlds of zihir anpan and nukva to such an extent that the nukva is considered to act as the tenth sephara of zihir anpan in the role of its Malkus. The Nefesh is from the Nukva of Zihir Anpen, the Ruach is from Zihir Anpen, and the Neshama is from Emma. Chaya is from Abba, which is Chukma, because that is the level of life as it is known Besod. Wisdom preserves the life of its possessors. Goheles 7.12 and if you are from the Church of Jesus Christ and Latter-day Saints, uh, Abba and Emma are parts of your soul. Uh, beyond that, I don't know if much else is taught uh, that isn't uh, outside of the doors of the Church. So they are parts of your soul, Abba and Emma, mother and father. The Yechida is from Arak Anpen, which is called Keser, because it is singular and unique compared to the rest of the Sephiros. It doesn't have a female counterpart, as it is known from the verse, See now that I am he. In my note, No mother, no sister, no wife, no daughter ever associated with him. Kul hu ahed, kester of Chodr, an angel. 
Kuhua Elahi Ahad, caster of Chud, an angel. Devarim 32 39, uh, footnote 69, just above everything in creation is made, pardon, footnote 69, just about everything in creation is made male and female, including the Sephiroth. However, on the level of Yacheda, there is only sublime unity, and therefore no separate female component exists on this level. Hence, this verse means he is alone, that is, without a female counterpart. As elucidated in the Zohar and Parashas Berishish, footnote 70, Zohar 122a. So again, the Yacheda is from Arak Anpan, which is called Keser or Kether. Because it is singular and unique compared to the rest of the Sephiroth, it doesn't have a female counterpart as it is known from the verse, See now that I, I am he. Devarim 32, 39, as elucidated in the Zohar and Parashas Berishish. I end of part 9. So I will now share with you a summary of a bit of what we've taken already from uh, the Hermetic Library, hermetic.com, H-E-R-M-E-T-I-C.com. The soul is divided by the cableists into three principal parts, Neshema, the highest part, answering to the three supernals, Rock, the middle part, answering to the six Sephiroth, from Chesed to Yesod, inclusive, Nefesh, the lowest, answering to Malkuth. Neshema answers to the higher aspirations of the soul. Ruach answers to the mind and reasoning powers. Nefesh answers to the animal instincts. Chia answers to Chukma, Yechida to Kether, with Neshema itself, while Neshema itself is referred to Bene, and this is from Israel Regardi. The book is called The Golden Dawn, 67, a group of believers in the prophecies and methods of Solomon, uh, the king, a uh, son of David. The same section of the lecture in the original outline in the cipher manuscript simply states parts of the soul. Kether equals Yeshida or Yechida. Chokma equals Chia. Bina equals Neshema. Tifereth and five others, Chesed, Gebora, Netzek, Hod, and Yesod equals Ruach. Malkuth equals Nefesh, and this is from Kuntz, Cypher 110. You can find this at https colon forward slash forward slash hermetic.com forward slash gd library forward slash the dash nature dash structure dash and dash role dash of dash the dash soul forward slash the dash nature dash and dash core dash structure dash of dash the dash soul dash in dash the dash golden dash dawn otherwise it is a strange way you might have to find yourself there uh, if you don't have uh, the direct address Try Google. <laughs>